Hello, my beloved students. You are highly welcome. It is me back, 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 back in the class. It's me, teacher Ato. For those who don't know me, and for those who know me already, you are highly welcome. And for those who have been in my class, starting from the beginning, you are highly thanked by me. Okay, I thank you so much for being with me all the way from the beginning up to now and then for the new ones you are welcome i'm just so happy to have you in my class this channel is purposely dedicated to teach you and to help you improve on your english okay yes once again my name is teacher at all and this is english fluency at all you're highly welcome so let us look at what we have today okay let us uh, have a look here we have there is and there are okay today we shall look at that we, we shall see how to use there is and there are okay so uh they are used in singular or plural okay especially uh because of is and are as you know is is used in singular and then are is used in plural okay so there simply it's an article whereby you use to talk about an object if something is not with you okay like you are talking about something that you don't have it it's quite far away from you okay uh, you use there okay there is or there are for example i have this pen okay but if the pen is far away from me okay let me put it here now i don't have a pen okay i can say there is a pen okay if i'm talking about the pen because the pen is is the subject okay when you talk about the subject you use you say there okay but if you have it with you and then there will change to here okay or when it is next to you you say here when you don't have it or far away from you you say there okay so when they are in plural uh, and uh, I don't have it. it uh, they are there. I say there are. Okay. But if I have it and it's singular and it's singular, I can say here is. Okay. But if far away and is singular, I say there is. Okay. But if I have them and there are two, I can say here are. What I have, I say here are. And what I don't have, I say there are. Okay? That is present simple tense. Okay? So, but for today, we are going to see the about the objects that we don't have. We are just pointing them out. Okay? If you are pointing them out, you say, there is or there are depending on the numbers of that object or those objects okay so if i see a cow and moving and then i want to to like tell someone about that cow i say there is a cow i want to point out that cow to someone there is a cow or if I see a good car I like, I can say, there is a car that I like, okay? Yes, it's just used to identify an object, to point out an object, okay? Yes, uh, let us see here. But the most important thing is good for you to know whether you are talking about one thing or two things and more, okay? So if you are talking about two things and more, you say, there there are okay yes there are 
and if you talk about one thing you say there is there is a man there is a book there is a cow okay yes it's not with you you say there is and with you you say here is okay let us look at these ones now the one i got for you okay there is a book on my desk okay you see because of a in front of the book okay then we say it to be as singular okay we say it to be as singular so it will take is okay it will take is there is a book on my desk next this one is plural because of an article r okay there are some leaves on that tree okay so here we are talking about the leaf okay but here we are talking about a book on a desk here we are talking about leaves leaves are plural okay leaves are plural there are some leaves on the tree the reason why they are saying some is because you cannot count leaves okay when there are many leaves you don't you cannot count them because there are too much something that you don't count you use some okay or any okay uh and then next we say there is a house on that forest okay in that forest okay a house is singular and then is is also used for supporting a singular object okay there is a house in in the in that forest because you are pointing out you don't have the house near you the house is quite far from you that's why you say there is there is okay yes mm -hmm. there is a man in his garden okay someone has seen a man in his garden there is a man in his garden this is present simple tense is what you are talking about right now present simple tense is what you are talking about right now okay next there is sugar in the tea okay there is sugar in the tea uh yes so this means that the tea has sufficient sugar you cannot say there are sugar in the tea you say there is sugar in the tea sugar has no plural okay sugar has no plural sugar is sugar okay yes sugar is sugar it has no plural even salt okay uh, and then there are fruits in his container okay there are fruits this is plural because s is behind is supporting fruit s is behind the fruit okay so it is plural there are fruits in his container so your job is to identify uh if a sentence is a plural or what you want to talk about is in plural or singular okay and then you play with there is and there are okay um if you understood remember to subscribe like and share okay and also if you're not understood write down in a comment below and then i'll be able to answer your question or try to help you out okay subscribe like and share i will be thankful for your subscription remember in this month we have to hit 1000 subscription okay yes let us go to another one we have was and where so these articles are in past past simple and also uh okay they're all they're all in past was is singular and then where is plural okay but all of them are talking about past tense okay what happened yesterday what happened last month last week you use was or where was is for 
singular and then where is for plural okay yes let us see them was is for one and where is for many okay okay so let's see if we are talking about one or many things okay here we are talking about kennedy okay kennedy is only one person kennedy was our head prefect okay kennedy was our head prefect here you you don't need to specify whether is uh, a woman or a man okay you don't need to specify about the sex you just have to specify about the numbers and the tense okay you have to know only about the numbers and the and then the tense uh-huh next uh just and truth okay so here they are talking about two people okay so which becomes plural just and truth were good in spot so they are talking about two people two but past tense so when they talk about two people was changes to where and then when it is singular and then it becomes was okay uh -huh. their house here they are talking about only one house so it will be supported by was their house was built last month you see all we are talking about the past not the present selena is one person okay selena is one person therefore we shall use was selena was my friend okay and also the dogs here there are many dogs because of s so we shall use where the dogs were taken for a walk remember to subscribe like and share